Hey, Renaissance Workshops here. We're doing a ferro cement uh, plastering today. This is a chimney for my son-in-law's big barbecue and we didn't make a wide enough chimney so this one we trust will be very wide. So we've made some arms that are quite thin but uh, they shouldn't impede the smoke and uh, they'll be strong as anything once we've done it. So we've got scaffolding, um, I'll show a little bit about the texture of the, the mix. Um, just sort of like, yeah, it just, it's, it's mud pie. Yeah, the, the thinner mix is easier to push through the four, three or four layers of chicken wire. So over here, this is what we scratch it with after we've done the first coat so that the second coat will hang on. And we are plastering the outside first and letting it ooze through. And that's what uh, is easiest when you've got a difficult um, uh, space inside. See it's oozing through at the top there. And then we just go inside and uh, smooth it off and add a little bit. So here we are with the mixer and there's honey waiting patiently so the wheelbarrow is ready excuse the noise so we've got clean river sand preferably um, and we have the fiber which in this case is seeker fiber very the very fine stuff almost like like uh what dandelion stuff um handful of that i always wear uh, two layers of gloves. One is latex glove, which is easy to move. And the other one is, we use this Ninja brand. And it's basically uh, so that you don't stab yourself with the loose, the cut ends of the chicken wire. So very important to have, have you can use leather gloves, but they get kind of all wrecked after the first thing. I've never been able to wash them well enough to to make them flexible for next use oh and of course in the mix so the three additives i use is micro silica which is amorphous silica um, you can use fly ash or you can use nothing it's just it helps it be more dense and waterproof and it flows better it's really good additive and then the usual plasticizer which is in this case i forget it's a liquid but ordinary plasterers, plasticizer, normal proportions, a couple of capsules per, per load. And now this, you see here, one good way of saying what you're after is get crocodile skin or I think elephant skin. When it's just right, it looks like elephant skin. This is a little bit thin, but as I say, when you're doing that first coat, you have to push it right through all of the chicken wire layers and coat everything on the inside uh, including the rebar so very important but um, to get it just the right consistency with water so i put in water then the additives and then make sure there's plenty of water and then some half the cement or half the sand and then half the cement and then which is one bag per 120 kg normal sand uh, cement and uh, put in I cut it in half with a with a, this kind of knife and then just flick it up so you've got two half bags you put one in then cement then sand I mean bucket of sand so the the mix in ends up being around two to two and a half to one two and a half sand one of cement but then the micro silica up to 10% by weight uh, of, of the cement. You can actually substitute, but I add. So you got 10%, so say two kilograms of silica, 20 kilograms of cement, and then the uh, two to one with sand, two and a half, up to two and a half for the first coat. Second coat, you can go a bit, a bit weaker, maybe three to one, but it, it's, it's it's lovely to spread on when it's it's like butter when it's when it's well mixed and it's uh, um, 
yeah, about two to two to one, two and a half to one. But of course, if you have too much cement, it can have a tendency to crack if it dries a bit fast or anything. So sand is good. But there we go. Uh, beautiful day for it. It was windy. You've got to really watch that wind. It'll dry out your plaster, and you do not want it to get. Uh, once it gets dry, it's like the opposite of the gremlins. If it gets if it gets dry and goes whitey, then it's all over. It's going to be powdery forever. So you have to keep it damp. So that's about it. Uh, over and out from. Oh, I'll see if I can turn me around. Over and out from Renaissance Workshops up in Butterfly Hill, daughter and son in uh, daughter and son in -law. Back to the grind.